Have you ever known someone in this day and age who is so dedicated to their work that they continue contributing to their field of expertise in their 90s? I haven't either, and that's what makes Dr. Jane Roland Martin so special. She not only has contributed so much to the American educational system already, but she's so passionate about education that she's still teaching, even as she approaches her 91st birthday. I'm Treslin Tucker, and today I'm going to talk a lot and teach you a little about Dr. Jane Roland Martin. Jane Roland was born on July 20th, 1929, on the west side in New York City. Her father, Charles, worked as a newspaper man, and her mother, Sarah, was a home economics teacher at a junior high school in the Bronx. Both of her parents were incredibly passionate about their careers, and she distinctly remembers her father always telling her, you have to do something you love. Heeding her father's advice and following in her mother's footsteps, Roland would grow up to work in both private and public school settings for three years before starting to work toward a master's degree in education at Harvard. In her final year working toward her master's, Roland took a course on analytical philosophy, and that course inspired her to pursue a doctorate in philosophy, which she graduated with in 1961. In 1962, Roland married Michael Lou Martin and decided to keep both her surname and use her husband's name, making her Dr. Jane Roland Martin. She and her husband would later have two sons, Timothy and Thomas, before Michael would eventually pass away in 2015. Martin first started teaching philosophy at the University of Massachusetts in the 70s. However, she was really brought to the foreground in the educational arena in the early 80s, when she began incorporating all sorts of hot-button issues into her philosophy courses, predominantly in subjects involving modern feminist themes and methods. This shook up educational philosophy as a whole because, until Martin, philosophy was taught by nearly an entirely male staff who never thought to incorporate feminist themes in their teachings. For a long time, many other modern philosophers and philosophy educators disagreed with her teaching. In an interview in 2007 with Leonard J. Walks, a professor at Temple University, Martin stated, quote, Some leading analytic philosophers said that what I was doing was not real philosophy of education. Plato's position that sex or gender is a difference that doesn't make a difference and that to draw attention to it is dangerous to women. At first, it was men who said these things, and then some women joined in and attacked my work as essentialist and classist and even racist. However, Martin ignored these criticisms, continuing to push the field of education as a whole through case studies and research. In 1985, she wrote her book, Reclaiming a Conversation, The Ideal of the Educated Woman, which emphasized the importance of women seeking higher levels of education. In the 90s and moving forward, Martin continued to write book after book about the ever-changing American system of education. In fact, her most recent work, School Was Our Life, Remembering Progressive Education, was just published in 2018. Throughout the years, Martin has used the lives of Malcolm X, Shaw's Eliza Doolittle, and many others to demonstrate how much of an impact education can have on a person. Throughout all of her books, there is a common theme, Martin's philosophy of education. Essentially, Martin's philosophy is that education plays a fundamental part in individual and societal development, and that because education is so fundamental to improving society, it needs to change with society rather than against it. This was very different from the common view during the radical education movement in the 60s and 70s, a movement that failed predominantly due to its lack of understanding the impact of education on society. However, throughout the 90s and moving forward especially today, Many educators have embraced Martin's ideology that education is a fundamental part of developing character. 
Like Martin, this class believes that aside from teaching kids how to read or solve an algebraic equation, education is a tool for raising participatory democratic citizens, developing empathy and respect in students, and teaching students to recognize the power of culture. To this day, Dr. Jane Roland Martin is a renowned professor of philosophy at the University of Massachusetts. She and her work continues to inspire educators and future educators to open themselves up to changing with the times.